Hey guys, welcome to day one of my advent series. For this first one, I'm starting off with this IKEA wrapping paper that I got last year. Um, it was part of their holiday collection. I have this one in navy, and then you'll also see in some of my other videos, I have it in white as well. So I'm just going to start by wrapping this box. And what I realized is that probably for some of my future videos, I won't actually film the wrapping. Um, I'll most likely have them already wrapped because I think this part is pretty boring and most people know how to wrap a gift and quite honestly, you don't need to watch my terrible wrapping <laughs> to see how to wrap a gift. Um, you'll see that I actually miss a corner there and have to go back and uh, put a patch over it um, to hide it. I am not the best at wrapping, but the more and more that I wrapped these, the better I got, so I guess it was good practice, at least. I did, however, try to wrap it so that an image that I liked landed on the top, so you can see that box there with the mushroom. And the next thing that I'm going to start working on is the tag. So most of what you're going to see in these videos is the external wrapping in addition to the wrapping paper and how I decorate my advent tags. So I'm just pulling out a couple of things here that I think I'll be using. I basically created a, a box where I have things that all kind of went together and I'd pull from it. And I'm starting off with this number one tag. Um, I cannot remember what collection this came from, but it was an entire sheet of like two by two or one and a half by one and a half inch squares. And um, they go all the way through the days of December, one through 25 for an advent project. And then they're all in different styles. So I'm combining that with some Tim Holtz numbers. Um, and then I have some various numbers from other things, but I end up using mostly these numbers and the Tim Holtz numbers. Now I did try and keep to a specific color scheme. Um, mostly what you're going to see is red, white, black, um, some craft paper, gold, um, but you will see a little bit of green here and there and um, possibly some silver and pearl, but I'm really not a fan of green uh, and silver, so I try to keep those out as much as possible, but sometimes I'll throw something in with green just to kind of balance out whichever tag I'm working on. Um, and then I also try to keep everything to a woodland theme. So every single video that you're going to see is going to use um, kind of the same kind of style of gift wrapping. Um, everything's going to be like uh, woodland creatures, animals, um, more of a very like cozy Nordic type vibe. So Argyle sweaters and you'll see here mittens and Christmas trees and things like that. So I didn't want it to be too Christmassy. It's more wintry. Um, and that way I was able to make it more cohesive throughout and use up more of my stash. Um, I'm not really big into traditional symbols of Christmas like Santa Claus, snowmen, um, things like that. I'm really weird and picky when it comes to the Christmas stuff that I get and that I haul. Um, this year I actually hauled more stuff uh, for other people, so um, you guys may have seen my uh, my Christmas haul back in November where I bought quite a few things that have snowmen and Santa Claus and penguins and, um, you know, things that are very Christmassy, but those will be going to other people. Um, it's just not something that I really like. So I'm using some sticky back ribbon here. This is Martha Stewart ribbon. It came in a pack of, I want to say four, and they originally came with like some, like a light blue or teal set. Most of the other ribbons in that set um, <clears throat> don't really match this ribbon. I really like this one because it looks like a wintry sweater and it's gray and it just fit in perfect. And then I'm using some die cut trees that I have here. I actually have a punch um, and so last year for Christmas I actually took all of my scraps for my leftover projects and just punched out a bunch of trees 
Um, and I also have a snowflake punch as well. So you'll see a lot of that as well throughout these projects. Now once I get these trees on here, I am going to finish it off um, with some mittens from that puffy sticker sheet that you see to my right. And then I'm going to kind of tie everything together with some twine and then decorate the actual box itself. And I'm just going to finish up here with some close-ups. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy the series and that you'll come back every day. And I hope it um, inspires some creativity with your wrapping this year. Um, definitely leave me a comment below if this is something that you enjoy. Um, and I'll try to incorporate this type of thing into future videos. Happy Holidays!